We are thrilled to introduce push notifications, a groundbreaking feature in Oracle Apex 23.1. As a major milestone in the progressive web app offering, push notifications provide real-time communication capabilities for Apex applications on all devices, including mobile and desktop. Push notifications are short messages that can be sent to users' devices instantly, even when the application is not open or the device is not actively in use. These notifications can enhance user experience by providing updates, alerts, and reminders, allowing users to stay informed and connected to your Apex application at all time. Setting up push notifications in Apex is a breeze, whether you're creating a new application or enabling the feature in an existing one. For new applications, simply go to the standard application creation process and make sure to select push notifications checkbox under the features section. For existing applications, go to shared components under progressive web app and make sure to enable the progressive web app switch and then follow the intuitive settings under the new push notifications section. Here you will be generating your secure to key pair credentials and your user setting pages. Apex prioritizes security and user experience, ensuring that users only receive push notifications that they have consented to. To avoid spam patterns and maintain a user-friendly environment, Apex presents a straightforward subscription process. When users run the application, they can access the push notification option in the settings menu under their username. By enabling push notifications on their devices and authorizing the Apex app, their subscription preferences are securely saved in the Apex metadata. Now that your application setup is complete and users have started to subscribe, it's time to send them a first notification. Sending push notifications from an Apex app can be accomplished in two different methods, both offering their own benefits and levels of control. Understanding these methods can help you choose the best approach for your specific needs. But regardless of the method you choose to send a notification, it's important to be able to identify the users who have subscribed to the feature in order to use the declarative page process or the API meaningfully. Apex offers two views to help analyze the data. Push subscriptions is a view that contains the list of users who've subscribed to your application. It includes the username of the subscriber and the subscription endpoint, which is the unique identifier for each user's device. And then the notifications queue is a view that contains pending notifications. It includes the content of the notification itself, as well as the error message if it ever fails to send. One way to send a push notification in Apex is through the use of the native page process called Send Push Notification. This option is ideal for users who prefer a straightforward process without the need for extensive customization. And for users seeking more control over the appearance and the content of their push notifications, the Apex underscore PWA API offers more flexibility. By using this API, you can manage additional parameters such as the icon or even choose a different destination application. This approach is useful for looping through multiple users and sending multiple notifications at once. When you send a notification, it is in fact only added to a queue, and Apex is responsible to dispatch the queue every two minutes. The Apex underscore PWA API contains a push queue procedure designed to help expedite the delivery of your messages. The introduction of push notifications in Apex 23.1 marks a new era of enhanced user engagements with your Apex applications. With an easy setup, flexible options, and seamless integration on all devices, Apex customers can now enjoy the benefits that push notifications have to offer. We are just getting started with Apex and PWA, so embrace the future of real-time messaging now, and we have no doubt that Apex developers will make good use of this feature.